Okay, it's time for an extended typing test. Well, let's put the word wrap on that so you can see what's going on. Can you guess what device I'm on as I do this test? This is the Lenovo Mix 7. Oh. So this is uh, exactly what I wanted to do on videos live typing test because this is the major difference between this and uh, the Surface Pro 3 and the Surface 3 is the keyboard. Now, obviously you can see it's a real keyboard with real mechanics so what I'm going to do, real keyboard oh, with of course under the pressure of a video camera here real mechanics. The feedback is okay and it reminds me of a Lenovo Mix 700 that we've just tested. So this is not think. Oh, bad quality. This is more idea pad style. Oh, the uh, touchpad, by the way, nice smooth uh, finish and actually very very smooth. The only thing I don't like about the touchpad is the left and right mouse button clicks there are a little bit heavy. You're going to have to go for tap to click on that. So the touch pad is smooth, but the click, uh, click areas are tough to press. So how? Yeah. So it feels better than the uh, touch type keyboard. There's there's the same bounce on it. There's the same bounce on the keyboard, and you can feel that sort of bouncy feedback. If any of you use the uh, touch type keyboard, you know that sort of bouncy feedback. You just feel it vibrating as you touch it. And what you have to do is just flip it down into that mode to get rid of that bounce. And in fact, in this mode, in the keep in why is the return button not working? There it is. In this. Sorry, sorry, I'm filming. Careful. In this mode, um, the keyboard is solid and feels pretty good. That's really tough to be typing here. There's a lot of people around, and the um, stress of trying to do it in front of a camera is also holding me up. But I'd say now I'm using a Surface Pro 3 Type 3, sorry, a Type Cover keyboard all the time. This is better. This is better than the Type the Type Cover keyboard. Um, the question is, does it come in the price and how much weight does it add to the device? It doesn't feel like it's much heavier than the type, type cover keyboard. This is maybe 250 grams with the type cover, is, I don't know how much, but it's less than this. Um, the click on the keypad, very hard, not so easy, but it's a very smooth um, touchpad there and actually quite, quite like that. So that is a, a closer look at the keyboard on the IdeaPad Mix 700. This is not ThinkPad, this is definitely IdeaPad when you look at the keyboard. No backlight, and of course it's a USB powered keyboard, so this is not one you can take apart and use remotely, as on, for example, the uh, Lenovo Yoga Tab, the Windows one, one which had a Bluetooth keyboard. Um, or the Acer Aspire Switch 12, which had that removable keyboard. But actually, pretty good. One more thing, I just want to have a look at this uh, hinge here. Now, I've been using the Surface Pro 3 for exactly one year now, and I had worries about the hinge, but the Surface Pro 3 hinge has been absolutely solid. But there's a little play in the Surface Pro 3 hinge. This has no play in it at all. This is a lot more solid than the Pro 3 hinge. The question is, will this stand the test of time? Will this watch band hinge stand the test of time? It's a nicer click on it, actually, than the Service Pro 3 as well. And it goes all the way back there. Not quite as far as the Service Pro 3, but that gives you a nice experience for if you're going to use the digitizer on the IdeaPad Mix 700. Just one more thing about the key before I close off this video. The uh, marketing block here states that it comes with a bundled Bluetooth keyboard. This keyboard is not a Bluetooth keyboard. It makes me wonder whether they're actually going to ship this device with a cheaper, separate 
Bluetooth keyboard and not this type cover style keyboard. That would be a surprise, but maybe something that could keep the price down. I'm not sure if I'd like a Bluetooth keyboard with this. I think I prefer the type of keyboard. But we're going to ask some questions around here at Lenovo booth here at IFA to so find the answers. We did. We just spoke to one of the, the PMs, product managers about this because of the statement about this being including a, key, a Bluetooth keyboard, which made us question whether this is actually the keyboard that's going to ship with the 700. So what is happening is this is going to be a Bluetooth enabled keyboard. So there'll be a battery inside and it will charge through here. And I don't quite understand why there's so many pogo pins on here if it's a Bluetooth keyboard it only actually needs uh, three for the, the charging so there's still a question over it but we are assured that the final keyboard will be this mechanics this design but Bluetooth enabled so it should enable this scenario where you can actually use the keyboard away from the device which is obviously something you cannot do on the Surface Pro 3 which I've got next to me one final thing and uh, it's difficult to say this with 100% certainty, but let me tell me, when I ask them whether this is their design or whether this is Microsoft's design, and whether this is their design or whether this is Microsoft's design, Lenovo tell me they make hardware, Microsoft makes software. I say no more, but uh, that looks like the way the licensing deal is working with these two very, very similar devices. So that's it on the keyboard uh, for the Mix 700. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned on UMC Portal for more about the, the Mix 700 and, uh, of course, other ultramobile PCs as we go along through IFA 2015. Thanks for watching.